let go of? Do you know? Is there something in your life you need to let go of because it's not working for you? Or maybe you just have to set it free. You know that old saying, if you love something, set it free. If it was meant to be yours, it'll come back. Well, I was thinking about this this week because I just dropped my daughter off at graduate school and I had to let her go. She's been living at home with me for three years. She had gone off to college and I let her go then too, right? But she went off to college and she came back and now she's gone again. And she also has a doggy, my grand doggy, Reed. And so I had to let both of them go because they have to have another life. And that's what kids do, right? They grow up and they go away. That's what's supposed to happen. So as a parent, I had to learn how to let go. I had to let go of my son when he was only 17 and he decided to go to New York City and study ballet his senior year of high school. And then I had to let him go when he went to Germany to work professionally as a dancer. So letting go of your kids, that's one thing. It's sort of supposed to be that way. It can be hard, but you know, we do it. But for some of us, we have to let go of relationships too. We have may, may have relationships that aren't working for us. Maybe our marriage is not working for us. Maybe uh, uh, we have a boyfriend that isn't, you know, the relationship isn't working. Maybe we have friends but the relationship isn't working for us. Maybe they're negative. Maybe they don't support us. Maybe they don't reciprocate as much <laughs> as you'd like. Any number of things. <clears throat> uh, so relationships, people, these are things sometimes we have to let go of. But you may also have to let go of some habits. Maybe you have habits that aren't serving you or routines uh, or rituals that don't serve you and you need new ones. Maybe you have exercise routines that you need to let go of or lack of exercise routines that you need to let go of. Maybe you have a lot of stuff in your house that you have to let go of. Clutter, things you've collected that you don't need. Maybe you need to get, get let go of your old furniture. Maybe you need to let go of some old books. Maybe you need to let go of a mindset, a belief system that isn't serving you. What is it that you need to let go of? I want you to think about this, that this week. What I would encourage you to do is to look around at your life. Sit down with a journal and go through different areas, relationships, health and fitness, uh, career and work, um, productivity, uh, what else? Hobbies. Actually, I would take productivity off. It goes with work and career. Um, uh, hobbies and free time. Those sorts of things. Look at these areas and make a list of the things that you really need to get rid of. You know you need to get rid of them. You do. I know you do. Just like I do. I know I have to get rid of some stuff. And you just haven't been doing it. So make a list of the things you need to get rid of. And then start checking them off. One by one, get rid of them. You don't have to get rid of it all at once. That's kind of a shock to the system. I don't recommend that. But I do recommend that little by little, you check off these things, you get rid of them, and you start fresh. There's an, a, a sort of metaphysical or spiritual wisdom that says that when you get rid of stuff, you make room for something new to come in. So if you want a new relationship, get rid of the old one. That makes room. If you want a new job, maybe just... Clearing out some of what's going on up here will help transform your job. You might not even have to get rid of it. But I want you to create this list. Get very clear about what you don't want in your life. And then make a list of what you do. So as you're checking off the things that you don't want and you're getting rid of them, make sure that you're focusing on what you do want, what you want to replace those things that you have eliminated from your life that you've let go of. So let go of those and then open yourself up to allow in something new, the things you want, but get clear about what you want as well. So it's kind of a two-step process, the list of things you want to let go of, the list of things you want to allow into your life now or create in your life, okay? And so every time you check off something that you don't want, I want you to be checking off something you do. So in other words, don't just wait for it to show up. I want you to get rid of something and then work on creating the other things. If you want a new relationship and you get rid of the old one, then you better get out there and start dating or going to, to uh, mixers or something or going to events that are of interest to you where you might find like-minded people. If you want a new job, then, you know, if you're going to, you know, 
check that off and say, I'm just, I'm going to quit, then you better start looking for another job, right? Maybe you go to networking events or you hire a headhunter, right? So you're doing something for everything you want to replace. You're doing something to gain the things that you do want. Okay. So that's it. That is how you are going to uh, achieve inspired results. That is how you're going to create your dreams. That is how you're going to level yourself up and get from where you are to where you want to go. Okay. So try it out this week. I am Nina Amir, the Inspiration to Creation Coach. I am a certified high-performance coach, as well as an author coach and a blog coach and all kinds of coaches. Anyway, if you want help getting clear on what you want to get rid of, getting the courage to get rid of it, getting and the courage to create what you want, the energy to actually get what you want, to make these kinds of changes, then contact me. Go on over to ninaamir.com and click on the uh, logo that says Certified High Performance Coaching and scroll down to the bottom of the page and there is a form you can fill out to apply for a one hour free strategy session with me. And we will look at this. We will look at your how clear you are, how energetic you are, how uh, courageous you are, how productive you are, how influential you are. And we will see if we can figure this out together. And you'll get a lot of tips and tools and strategies that high performers use all around the world in all different situations during that session. So contact me today. And until next time, go out there and achieve more inspired results.